You've succeeded, you've broke your entry barriers, your earnings are decent, but how do you keep that vessel afloat? Some make it and some don't. That's a fact of life, we know that. This morning we're going to celebrate those who outstand the others with an award to a growing company, already succeeding company. We call it the Evextpreisen, which is not really translatable. The growing price, the in growth price, Evextpreisen. And to introduce it, I give you a very well-known household name in these uh, circumstances. Serial entrepreneur, founder of, of SIP and Podio, please give a round of applause to Tommy Ailers. Come, sir. Go up. Wake up. Thanks. Um, this is your award. Actually, it was, I was part of starting this award up in, uh, back in 2008. So this is the 10th year that this event is, is going. It's the seventh year for Evex Prison. We, we started Evex Prison because we wanted to find, you know, have a different prize. Back then, most of the prizes we had were, were for, you know, tech entrepreneurs in Copenhagen. We want to do something that got out to all the corners of the country and in all sectors because the entrepreneurship is not only about tech, it's also about food, it's about clothes, it's about farming, it's about everything. That's why we started Evex uh, Prison back in, in 2008. Since then it has been growing uh, quite massively. So far we have had 216 uh, people nominated, 36 winners. And for these winners, Evex Prison have given them a platform and uh, one of the most notable uh, uh, person on that platform would be Casper Blom, who won, uh, you know, Orts uh, Ungehob back in uh, 2012, and has really been leveraging that platform to get out to a pretty much, I think, pretty much every public school in uh, in, in in this country. Since uh, we started, there's been the first year we had like 2,000 votes for for the candidates or for the nominated uh, for the different categories. And last year we almost had 50,000 votes. We want to top that this year with 100,000 votes. Just like Titanic. Um, so I got an envelope, it's not quite an envelope, but uh, the votes are in. You have cast your votes and we have a winner. And the winner of this pre-competition for elevator pitch of the year is Michael Rude Moncur from Surf. Congratulations. Now we should do business. Yeah, I'll hook up with Nils from Crypto Political Media. Yeah, remember to say to the man there, you served. Yeah. Congratulations. Well done. A big, a big applause. Please stay here. And we also want to invite the other two that are volunteered to participate in this pre-competition. So please come, uh, Mas and Christina. Thanks. <laughs> Pictures are taken. <laughs> Applause are given. Thanks a lot. Thanks. company during those 59 seconds. Pretty impressive. Thanks. So next one up here is uh, Michael. How do you say, uh, pronounce your last name? Oh, sorry. Mankar. Mankar. No, Mankar. It's fine. Okay. And uh, Michael is from uh, Surfed App and he uh, won uh, Born Global last year. That's great. Take it away. Hi. I can imagine a lot of you already now needs a cup of coffee. However, in situations like this, with a lot of people, you're having fun with friends, what you meet in the coffee shop is a long queue, which makes us not buy. This isn't just annoying for us as customers, not getting what we want, it's also a big problem for the merchant because it means lack of turnover. Furthermore, a physical order and payment um, takes more than a minute, which locks the employee. This problem we solve by an app solution, which Telia Park, Brøndby Stadium, DS Concertos, ESS Cantina are using to receive orders and payments through their guests' smartphones. For example, Telia Parken has 23 served fast tracks on Sunday against Brøndby, so you can sit on the row, order, and then go around the queue to pick it up. It could also be the zoo, the ice cream shop, the beach, the busy bar. In short, served makes you 
avoid the queue and increase turnover for the merchant. If you want to know more, please meet me afterwards. That was it. Perfect. 58 seconds.